Hello, audience. I'm Cryoptic Voice, and welcome back to Coffee Talk 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly. It is the morning now. I fell asleep before I could even have my drink, so I'm not going to drink it in the morning now. Um, but if my voice sounds pretty deep, that's why, because I literally woke up not that long ago. I don't want to out myself. Anyway, we've got a mystery on our hands, starting off strong. Georgie's lighter is already missing. Bailey's? Why is the camera messed up, Bailey's? Rock Doc, anyone there? Oh, there we go. Mr. Bailey's, hi. What was Bailey's voice? I totally did hear him come in. Why don't I like Bailey's? I'm alright. But you look pretty distracted. Penny for your thoughts? Hold on. I gotta find Bailey's voice. You can have them for free. I'm a nice guy like that. We're just pondering the hidden side of things. How different the world is under the surface compared to what we think it is. Nothing and no one is exactly what they appear to be. Funny. I was having similar thoughts on my way here. I guess now that we've spent so much time on social media, people believe we can be summed up in a picture or a sentence. But it's not like that. It's not that easy to know someone. Even if that someone is yourself? Especially if that someone is yourself. Sounds like we agree on this. We sure do. It's been on my mind a lot the past few days. Does that have anything to do with your wedding with Miss Lua? Got it in one. How are things on that front? Hmm. A few days ago, we decided to take some time apart, I think. Uh-oh. No, I don't mean it like that. It wasn't a breakup or even a break. We've been through so much, there's no walking back on our relationship now. Walking back? But sometimes you're... Oh my gosh, sometimes you're so together that you lose sight of the big picture, you know? I think I get what you mean. So we decided to give each other a bit of a space. A bit of a space. You can definitely tell it's morning. Also, I need to clean my glasses. Look at these dirty. I can't read. That's what it is. <laughs> Watch me squint at the screen now for the next five minutes. And figure out what we really want out of our wedding. And more importantly, out of our marriage. I think that's good for you too. I think you need to write down what you want and then compare the lists and then do the things in common. And then when there's, write down like a list of everything you need for a wedding. So like the catering, the music, the venue, the flowers, whatever, right? The theme, the color scheme, whatever. Write down what each of you want. If you have something similar, then put them together. And if you don't, that's when you talk. Like who to invite? She wants to invite her family. You don't want to invite her family. What's the issue with her family there? Just let it be fine. You want the short version or the long version? Always here for the full story. Right then. I'm gonna tell you everything. But I think I should order first. Just think, what can I make you tonight? I'm not feeling fussy. Anything warm would do. So, anything really. Unless I give you milk. Makes sense. What about some herbal tea? Hibiscus? Butterfly pea? Butterfly plea? Butterfly. Yeah, plea. Oh my gosh. Hibiscus sounds great with milk and honey, please. <laughs> Let's see. Hibiscus or butterfly? Milk and honey. What are we getting? Are oh, they dreaming blue? Busy with calmness and serenity. Or sweetheart. Showing both taste and appearance. Hmm. Oh. I feel like you need calmness and serenity because you're stressed. The other one is called Sweetheart, so. I associate Bailey's as more of a red person than a blue person. Sweetheart Latte. Can I give you anything? I'll give you Riona's number. That would be horrible. Let's do some Latte art. I'm gonna sneeze, and I apologize. Maybe I'll mute my mic right as it happens. Hold on, it's almost there. Oh my god, it's right there. Come on. 
It's not gonna happen. Did I pour milk? No. Okay. Let's try a heart. This is gonna go horribly, but... Am I pouring? Ah, there we go. That's the makings of something, I'll tell you. So we really have to make sure that we're pulling. All right, we definitely need more milk to kind of fill in some of these spots. The rough thing is that like now if you add milk at this point, it like totally messes everything up. I mean, that's not bad. Because the milk, like, flies up. You know? You see what I'm talking about? I don't really get that mechanic of it. Also, it's really hard because when you're doing, like, real latte art, you can, like, adjust everything. Like, you can determine how much... Like, the size of the pour of the milk. Which I think is pretty important. I think we're on to something here, though. I will say. Alright, now let's cut this. Just like so. That looks pretty good. We definitely gotta round out this top part. Try my best. There we go. It looks kind of good. This is all just an attempt of me stealing Bailey's from from Lua. Look at that. That looks pretty good. I think. Okay, I can rotate the cup and everything. Whatever. Here you go, Bailey's. I hope you enjoy. Here you go. I hope you like it. Thanks, Gray Optic. This is so nice, and it brings me way back. You know how I'm not really in touch with my family anymore. Mm. I don't even miss them most of the time. In the end, they're just a random bunch of people. Is that how you should look at it? We don't have very much in common. It's good that you've learned that about yourself, Mr. Bailey's. I think so, too. It's just one person I miss, but I've been missing her a while now. Someone who passed away, I'm guessing? Exactly. Spot on again, Cryoptic. I used to have a very close relationship with my great-great-aunt. When I was little, my parents fought all the time. I still remember in my bones how that made me feel. The fear that one of them, or both of them, would walk away and abandon me. A bit ironic in hindsight, but then it was many years ago. It's quite normal for a little child to care about their parents. I feel like I'm like... I'm like leaning forward still like I can't see the screen, but I can! Let's get more light. Ah, look at the light. Look at the poster. Look at Riona's thing. I always do that. No matter who they are or how they behave. That's true. Anyway, I spent almost all my evenings curled up into a ball in my room. Trying hard not to listen to all the shouting. Except when my gran came to visit. Not that her being around prevented the fighting, mind you. Elven high society is amazing at keeping up appearances, except in front of family. But she got how it made me feel. So she went out of her way to sting out of it. Did I check the stories? I didn't even check the stories. Lucas is selling sunglasses, normal schedule. Very lucky to have people who's with me no matter what, and I won't take it for granted. Good. So we have to get Rachel again. Yeah, see? Now we have the third Bailey's. Punk. Been listening to Pumpkin. 
since I was a wee lad. Are you Irish, Baileys? That would make sense. Been listening to Pumpkin Spice since you was a wee lad. So, what am I doing with my life? Escaping bloodlines. I don't think you should have that in your bio. Experiencing life one color at a time. One day we'll have my own solo exhibition. So who else have we not seen a lot of? Aqua. So we need more Rachel, we need more Aqua. We'll see Lucas again and Riona again and Amanda again and Hyde again and Georgie again. Thank God. And Silver and Gala again. But Myrtle's maxed out. Lua's maxed out. This might be the last time we see Bailey's, you know. If my theory is right. But it's just a game theory. Rip Matt Pat. I mean, he's not dead, but he's just... He's retired. So she went out of her way to take the sting out of it. She would keep me company and bring me a cup of herbal tea. With milk and honey on it. Drinking this now with you. Feels a lot like family again. Do you actually have an Irish accent and I just haven't noticed? It doesn't read like you have an Irish accent. Sounds like she was a perceptive person. I should have done that from the beginning. That would have been funny. She truly was the best of them. So she got sick. How did that happen? I thought elves don't get sick. See, that's the part of elven disinformation. Elves don't get sick with your little run of the mill colds. But they do get big, bad diseases like everyone else. And it's not uncommon for us to die. It's not uncommon for us to die from them. Except there's this assumption in elven society that if you live the right sort of life, you'll pass away peacefully in your bed. So that's what families say most of the time when someone dies. Incidentally, incidentally, that also means that they need to pretend everything is fine until the very last moment. So that's what they did to my aunt. They basically shut her in during her last few weeks. That sounds really awful. Did manage to visit her, and she put on a brave face, but it was clear she wasn't happy. And then she wasn't very happy before that, either. At least she had you. Must have been little consolation, but yes. I'm glad I was able to be with her. Ugh. To think I came very close to being trapped with those people. I'm pretty sure she would have hated that for me. I still feel like I'm, like, leaning forward. You're not looking at me anyway, are you? Look at the game! Look at Bailey's. Right over there. Right over there. I'm certain she would be. What did I say? Oh, she'd be proud of you. She is proud of you. Thanks, Cryoptic. You are letting me blab on again. It's more than fine, but... You think growing up among conflict might explain why things are... A bit difficult to work out sometimes between you and Lua? I definitely think that's part of it. In fact... Uh-oh. Silver! Amanda! Hi! Good evening. Hi, Cryoptic. And hi. I don't think we've met before. I'm Silver. I'm Bailey's. Nice to meet you. I'm guessing you're Amanda? We are. But you do not appear to be a hive mind. How did you... Lua told me she ran into you a week or so ago. Oh, the perp um, the nice earthling we met on our first night here. That is a satisfactory explanation. And so, are you her date? I'm a little more than that. I'm her fiancé. Truly? Fiancé is a successful outcome of dates with a 0.013p probability. Congratulations on your excellent odds ac actualization. <laughs> Thank you. Now, coffee, cafe offspring. We are wishing for a drink. Cafe Offspring? How did you acquire that new title? Magic. Am I a coffee person? Am I like the guy from regular show? Coffee, coffee, coffee. Alright, sounds like something I shouldn't prod too hard. Never mind me. You are about to order, Amanda. We were. And what we wish is for some memorable parking experience. No! I suspected something like that. Last visit in a while, huh? That is accurate. Take it you've completed your research on Earth? Almost. We are quite satisfied with the outcome of our mission. 
Does this mean this is the last time I'm seeing Amanda? <clears throat> it might be. It might be the last time I see Silver too. Don't do that to me. I love Silver. Interesting. That sounds like there's a story there. First, tell me what sort of experience are you after? I know what she's after. We wish you had something we have never had before. It's time to get creative then. Yes, take care not to reuse any ingredient you had served us in the past. How am I supposed to know that, bro? I know exactly what you want, though. It's like... Maybe I do. Maybe I don't. It's like a galaxy one. Is it Milky Way? No. What the frick? There's like this galaxy one that's like for... Before a long journey or something. I swear it was the other one. I swear it was this one. The frick? What is it? This one just is sweet and cool like outer space. What is it? Oh gosh. I'm gonna cheat found a full guide basically from day to day what drinks you need to make people so we're gonna follow this apparently it's not a special drink as i thought it was it's literally just hibiscus milk and milk at least this is what the guide i found says um the guide is eurogamer.net <sighs> more latte art let's just make it look like space Get like a big moon looking area. See, where does all the milk go? <sighs> Alright, I've changed my mind. All right, I give up. Here you go. You'll think it's cool, right? Here you go. Hopefully it stays new to you. Amanda. You may be getting a little emotional, Amanda. We do not wish to discuss this. Anyhow, I trust the agent gave you no more trouble. Ah, oh, that one was quite close, actually. We had a little brush with the authorities, you see. Yeah, Lua mentioned that. You made her really angry. She was still seething when she came home that night. Ah, please tell her I'm grateful for that. Well, that agent kept looking into things, even after his second visit here. But that's where your help really came in handy, Cryoptic. My help? Yes, the card you gave, the card that you got off that agent. We asked for help from an associate to run it through the mind you called computer. Once the contents of the card had been unveiled, we analyzed the language of its communication, which is quite an interesting mix, if we may say so. It is roughly 60.0923% syntax and 39.9077% mathematics. We then let a polynomial time attack on its encryption. Expressing the ciphertext as him, the point is, Amanda managed to get into the fire system. She obfuscated? All mentions of any of us are saved beyond recognition, and some totally legitimate orders came in to send the agent to Europe in an urgent mission. 
which should last more than an long enough for him to forget all about us. Oh, that sounds incredible. It does sound thrilling. Ah, it was a very simple matter of applying knowledge, hive mind. Hive knowledge? <laughs> Be that as it may, that's great work, Amanda. We are pleased. Amanda is amazing. But let's not forget who got the card in the first place. You really helped us there, Cryoptic. Thank you. Very glad to hear that. Very relieved. Yes, we have thought on it for a while, and we have decided we do not care for that sort of excitement. Not if it makes our siblings so sad. You've really gotten a hang of emotions now, haven't you, Amanda? Thank you, Offspring. If that is the case, we are content. Content. Oh my gosh. That means our mission is well and truly accomplished. Did you come here specifically to pick up Earthling emotions? No, we came here for the purpose of general Earthling research, but it appears to us now that emotions are one of its most interesting aspects. We will be submitting a, you call it, academic paper. Uncontrolled stimuli and reflexive neural patterns, deep level communications, and high versus non hive species. Wow. That's how you know it's serious research. I don't even understand the little. The title. The title I don't understand. Brain not brain today. Alright. Amanda always was the brains in the family. That wasn't your only mission, though. Right, Amanda? Amanda, right? If you're leaving, does that mean... Yes. Pearl and I did go out on a date. You're looking for love, aren't you? I am. I was, I think. I think I may have found it. Aww. Wasn't that the... Wasn't the first date a really short time ago? Just a couple of days. But I've been waiting a while, and I really think she. this is it. When I took up this mission from the Hive, when I came to Earth, and during the entire process when I changed and changed, what I was hoping was that someone would see me for who I am. I really think she does. It's so great, but I'm curious. Doesn't being in a hive provide that experience of feeling seen? I'm yawning. Doesn't matter if it's morning, doesn't matter if it's night. I think it's these lights, man. Wake up. We're awake. It does and it does not. I should have got myself a coffee. That's what I should have And in fact, we hope that it is something our research might improve. The hive sees thoughts and desires honestly, but it is not able to communicate the reasons for those desires, the emotions, as it were. We do not dwell on those, nor will we start to do so in excess, but it seems to us now that they may be worth conveying, at least to some extent. Yes, what Amanda said is part of it. I was very unaware of my emotions when I first came to Earth. And I was really bad at communicating them clearly to others. In some ways, I still am. It will always be harder for me to grasp them for, than for most people. But when I started to understand them, I was both fascinated and scared. Which is not an uncommon experience, I think. It's really not. It requires a good deal of courage to look at your emotions honestly. It certainly requires some time. And even more time to find someone who can look at them with you. Not get scared and take them as they are. Someone who can see you clearly and kindly. It is a precious thing when that happens, huh? A rare and beautiful thing. Has that been your experience with Lua? It definitely has. I almost forgot how much it mattered, too. I'm lucky that I have good friends who reminded me of that. So does that mean you and Lua found some answers? No. Oh, the heck with it. I can't hold my tongue any longer. I'm sorry to interrupt your goodbyes, you guys, but... Corruptic, I'd like to officially invite you to a little surprise ceremony! Let's go! Three days hence. Wow, that's some answers indeed. Wait, three days? Hold on. Well, I can't check now. We have like four days left, though. At my job. Are we gonna go to the wedding? Are we gonna change backgrounds? Can you imagine how sick that would be? Taking a little time to think really cleared our heads. We'd gotten bogged down in the details. And then our own insecurities, to be honest. So we decided to make it simple again. No fuss, no massive expense, nothing like that. 
just us and our closest family members, whether we got them at birth or chose them ourselves. I am very touched, Mr. Baileys. Ah, come on, Cryoptic. You know you mean a lot to the two of us, as does this place. Speaking of which, I also have Hyde's invitation here. Ooh, I have to invite Hyde. Well, Hyde and Gala's invitation, seeing how that's his obvious plus one. Would you give it to them when you see them? It'd be an honor. Silver and Amanda, I don't have a card for you, but... You're in the cafe family as well, so... I'm sure Lua won't mind. Would you like to join us for the party? Uh, a party? Party! <laughs> if you don't know what that's from, come on. Get good. This is our first experience being invited to a party. It is 99.999% pleasant. And a 0.001% disappointing that we have to refuse. It's very disappointing that you have to refuse. Yes, I truly appreciate the offer, Baileys. But sadly, we're leaving Seattle tomorrow. No! That's more sudden than I expected. Are you going back to space then, Amanda? Not yet. We are going on an adventure. That seems like the wrong thing to say. Going back to space, Amanda? Like, where from space are you going? Going back home? To your homeroom? Sounds very exciting. It really is. Amanda and I are taking a trip through the country. Maybe even a bit further if we got time. We're basically going to be tourists. Tourists is such a fascinating concept. <laughs> Although our sibling explained it to us multiple times, we still find it very hard to comprehend. We always thought that traveling must have a mission, a purpose, but it seems that tourism is traveling with no purpose in traveling, which is in essence circular reasoning. <laughs> it might well be, but it's still a lot of fun. In fact, I'd say that's the real purpose of tourism. To have fun, to relax, to see beautiful things, to enjoy life, you know? Enjoyment as a purpose. That is new to us, but we are 99.999% excited to try it out. And so am I. <laughs> I've never been out of Seattle since I arrived. I guess I was afraid that I wouldn't be able to blend in. That I would have to restart everything from scratch. But knowing that you're here, Cryoptic, that I always have a place to return to where I feel home. Well, that makes a lot less. That makes me a lot less nervous. I'm very happy to hear that. What about um? What about safe? Who's gonna run safe? <laughs> Why are you all looking at me like that? Ahem. I think I should order a drink. Of course, what can I make you? Uh, he wants a chocolate something. It's an adventurous cake. It's exactly right. I just read it. Hold on. Yeah, hot chocolate was something I shouldn't make of him. Okay. He wants chocolate, honey, and ginger. I've already messed up. Chocolate, honey, ginger. I think, right? This is gonna make that weird one. I don't know if you guys saw it or if I showed you guys. Yeah, this one. 299.792. Look at it. It's, it's got a little space man. And a rocket ship. So this is, um... That's the speed of light. 299,792,458. For a light speed traveler. Oh, we like this name. It is evocative and adventurous. Evocative? Yes, it is the speed of light, not evocative of great adventures. It is the speed of light, not evocative. The speed of light, oh wow. Way to target your audience, Cryoptic. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. But do you like the taste, Silver? He throws up. I love it. This is exactly what I wanted. It's got the spicy kick of ginger to start with, which keeps you on your toes. But then the honey makes it sweet and comfortable. In fact, it reminds me of you, Amanda. That, how does it, how does that taste remind you of us? I guess he's saying that you're sweet, but with a strong character as well. That's about right. 
We do not entirely comprehend it, and yet, we are pleased. Well, that's settled then. Whenever you miss Amanda Silver, you can come here and I'll make you this drink. I'd like that. Thank you, Cryoptic. What the fuck was that? Do you guys see that? Why did it, like, jump? What was that? I was so excited, I could barely sit still. I can imagine. The first trip across the country is a big deal. It is. But that's not the only reason I'm excited. Is Pearl here? Did you invite Pearl? Okay, that was quite a dramatic pause. I really don't know what you're going to say now. You guys seem to lead very interesting lives. Oh, not at all. I think I'm quite a boring person. The secret society and an alien background. It's true that some of my life circumstances are a bit unusual. But this particular thing is very commonplace. I, erm... Um, our sibling is excited because his date will be joining us. And in fact, we must be fair and acknowledge that we may have misjudged her based on her lack of facial symmetry. Although Pearl's features are 9.231% different from left to right, we agree with her movie analysis 99.999%. You've met Pearl and you talked about movies? Now she's joining you two on holiday? How did any of that happen? We watched orc we westerns all together last night. Pearl likes them a lot as well. You don't exactly sound thrilled. I... Fortunately, she also likes space travel operas. I see. Learning couple... Learning couple compromises the hard way. I suppose so. Well, I'm glad to hear that she's met Amanda and that they get along. Does that mean she also knows where you're from, Silver? She does. In fact, I told her about that on our first date. Oh, that's nice. That's very brave. That is very brave. It's very hard to put yourself out there under any circumstance. To reveal something so vulnerable to someone you've just met. And are starting to like. It takes guts. You're very kind, but I don't think so. To be honest, I hadn't planned it that way. Although I have felt safe here with all the regulars. I know that not everyone would be open-minded about me. And so I wasn't sure I'd say anything to Pearl that night. But as we were talking, I was so happy to learn more about her. About who she is. And I realized that I didn't want her to have an incomplete picture of me. My past is a part of me. If my goal is to find someone who sees me for who I am, then she needs to know about that too. And in the end, that was the right decision. Well, I will say that if she'd heard your story, and that changed how she viewed you, then she wouldn't have been worth your time anyway. That's fair. But still, even knowing that, I admire you a lot. The truth is, and this is a bit of a strange thing to say, but I think I'm proud of who I've become. And I want the people I love to be proud of me too. What is proud? Proud is, um, for yourself, I think it's when you start to be satisfied with what you're achieving. Especially if you have to fight to get there. And for others, it's when you think of someone you care about. Consider who they are and the way they're acting. And it just fills you with joy. Ah, oh, we see. Then we are definitely proud of you. I... <laughs> I'll take a sip too. You two are a really sweet family. And so are you and Miss Lua, Mr. Bailey's. Yeah, true. Chosen families can also rock. Yes, when we met Pearl, we came to a conclusion. There is no difference in nature or an expression between a family that you are born with and a family that you acquire by choice. Both demand work and understanding. There may be minute differences in the specific process, but the bond appears to be 99.999% similar in the end. So it is. <laughs> well, we should probably get going. No, Silver, don't go! Yes, we must go pack. First time I see someone get excited about that specific part. What Amanda really means is that I must pack. While well, she analyzes the earthling ritual of fun folding shirts, rolling up socks, and so on. Precisely, this is further information for our research. We are thrilled. Good luck, Silver. Indeed. Goodbye! I'll miss you. Do enjoy your trip, both of you. I hope you tell us all about it when you're back, Silver. 
I will. Good night to you too, then. <laughs> Hasta la vista, strangers. Huh? Work westerns. Uh, bye to you too. No, no, Silver. Silver. <sighs> I think Silver is my favorite character. Speaking of which, would you like to hold some party or after party for your wedding here? I know it's not a very large space, but perhaps. Whether we'd like it, we'd love it. Honestly, I didn't want to impose, but there's no place that could be a better fit. And I don't mind that it's not very large. It's going to be a small, cozy wedding. So this is perfect. It's settled then. Louis is going to be over the moon when I tell her. So that's how you're going to do it. In fact, I'm going to tell her now. It's a very exciting prospect. It really is. Thanks again, Cryoptic. You're like a guardian angel for us. And on that note, I'm off. Good night. More like... More like a guardian hive mind? What do I mean by that? Am I part of the hive mind? Am I also a space person? What was I looking at? Oh, yeah. So those two are... I feel like I'm going to see everybody now, though. So that means on the day of their... In three days, on the day of their wedding, it should be Lua, Bailey's, Hyde, and Gala. Maybe. I'm like a guardian hive mind. Good night, Mr. Bailey's. So am I a hive mind? What am I? Because at first I thought I was a vampire, and now I think I'm an alien. Food for thought. Maybe we should look it up sometime. Why is my CPU so high? Jesus. What are you? What are you? What are you? NASA? Listen, I, I, it's the morning. I'm a little. I'm a wee bit tired, man. But anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. We are getting ever closer to the ending here. I know the episodes are pretty long, and I know there's a lot of episodes, but um, the ending is coming up. And when this is done, I'll need another game to play. So comment down below. Let me know what game you want to see. If you have a favorite game you want me to play, if you have a game like this that you want me to play, just let me know in the comments down below. Uh, if not, and you're just happy to continue watching this series and watching me play and getting to know all these lovely characters, then make sure you like and subscribe. So you know when the next episode comes out. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.